5.27 a.m. It is Monday and I'm awake. I was supposed to wake up at 7, but at 5 a.m. I was just like, I need to get up. I need to get up and so to come back about time, 5.30 a.m. I've been up since like at 5, literally my eyes were just like, oh, okay, I will stay in bed. But I just want like, to work on my stuff. So right now I will just get myself a coffee, uh, have my breakfast. And I will go edit and work. Time is so valuable and precious. You never know when everything will just end. So I think that's what kept me up every morning. That's what motivates me, you know, just to to go after what I want and just give everything. Just knowing that someday it will end, and I don't want it to end. Um, so that's why I just put all the effort that I can in today and in every single minute, and I really focus on what I can control which is the work that I can put in these videos and in what I create, all the posts, podcasts, products that I can create, experience that I can give to people. So yeah, I guess this is the segment of this Monday and I will see you in the next time segment. So this will be the coffee this morning. So brand of 10. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just uh, MCP oil. Apparently it's just more concentrated, but I don't really know. I'm just testing the product right now. So I'll see. I'll grab my coffee with this, as you know. And this is some ghee. It's clarified butter. So look at the nutrition fact. It's pretty dope. And I will bring some McCafe. I just like McDonald's coffee. No idea why, but I do like it. And I will use those filter with this. Now we'll let it infuse the coffee for about four or five minutes. Drinking water, so good water in the morning, oh my god. I'll get my supplements in and then I will go upstairs in my own office to edit two videos this morning. It is 5.38 right now. So yeah, 5.38 I will be able to edit two videos by like 7.30, like two hours. But the thing is like I already started one, so it shouldn't be that bad. And that's pretty much it. And then we go to the office because everyone is arriving. The team will be there. And um, yeah, it is shipping day. And usually I will use a mixer to mix everything up, but I broke my magic bullet. It's not working anymore, so I need to get a new one. And it broke like two days ago, so. And we'll do my five minute journal and we'll also do um, a planning of the day. So I'll take time every morning to do that. I know that I said our time is limited, but sometimes it's just good to slow down. And what's the five minute journal? Uh, a bunch of people ask me because they've seen it on my Snapchat. This is the book. So this is the five minute journal. Um, it's just something good for eye achiever, you know, just to take time and just settle. Basically, you just start by writing out what are you grateful for, and then you go, what would make the day great? Daily affirmation, I am powerful, um, I can do whatever I want in life, I can achieve everything, uh, I'm kind with everyone. You can just write down whatever you want, you know. Um, and there's also a quote every morning, and that's what I put on my Snapchat usually, just a quote of the day. Um, so it's pretty cool, and it's just sometime I wasn't appreciating stuff. Not in the sense of like everything is granted and uh, for sure I got a lot of stuff, you know, I have my house and I have all the food that I want and I can just actually do what I want in life. Uh, but in the sense of like I was doing stuff and achieving stuff and not enjoying um, the result in the sense of like I was achieving something, going to the next thing and then going to the next thing all the time without taking break and just being proud of myself, you know. Um, so. Yeah, so I guess just by writing that down every morning and every night, I'm just more grateful for what I have and 
I feel just more blessed about what I'm doing instead of just going to the next thing and just being like your rats, you know, uh, or, a, or a hamster in a wheel. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm using it. So far, I really enjoy it. I'm halfway through. Um, really good. And I also got myself, it's called the Pla Passion Planner. So this is the Passion Planner. And guys, I'm not sponsored by them. I paid for all uh, these journals. So Passion Planner, it's, it's pretty good uh, in the sense of you know, we are in a digital world and we always have a calendar and it's good. I mean, it's not bad at all. I still use Asana and Google Calendar and uh, or iCloud Calendar, whatever. And basically the thing is like, I wasn't able like, to figure figure out like what was everything in front of me and all the tasks that I needed to do. So um, I found this, this journal online and, and Kat was using it. It's been a year that Kat is using this journal and I got her new journal for for christmas actually um and i just decided to give it a try because what is nice about it is i'll show you i'll try to find a new month every month you get to analyze it's your monthly reflection so you analyze like what was the most memorable part of this past month describe it what were the biggest lesson you have learned you know so you 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 do a retrospective on on your month you know which is really really good um so you can adjust yourself easily and just realize what you did what you didn't did not do um and then you can also schedule your month like place you want to go this month people to see and uh, not to do this here it's your personal project and uh, work project so you have your top priority project uh, regular project i don't know if you guys can see you can create a mind map of what you want your your month to be you know what will you do this month that will change uh, everything and then week by week like here's just campers are coming from the limitless camp but here you can uh, write down your week's focus you know because there's always like something that you need to focus more on and then here you can put uh, today's focus today's focus whatever here's your personal to-do list here's your work to do list here is the space of infinite possibility where you can just write down whatever you want and i think every quarter every six months there's a, at the end you can write down whatever it's just one page but i think every six months there's something else special i don't know it's the same thing so what I like about it is just I can see everything I need I need to do in in a month but not only that but I can also plan what I want to achieve this month you know and just really go month by month and just think about the big picture instead of just thinking about oh, what I need to do today and then you feel that after a month you know you did a bunch of stuff but you you don't you didn't move the needle you know uh, in your big project and what you want to really achieve like the big picture so uh, that's why I enjoy it so I decided to share that with you um, this part that i like it's like your your lifetime goal i will share them with you guys but i just don't want to share it right now three months ago one year ago um i got actually like myself one of those this one is dated because on their website uh if you go on passionplanner.com i think there's planner who are dated like this one is a 2017 and i got myself a black one with undated so in 2018 i will use the undated one um so yeah I just, I got it and Kat got the pink one, so I'll show you the pink one right now. And so if you're a girl, you might like the pink one. There's also a greenish one. Um, yeah, just go on the website and just check that out and uh, write in the email that I was the referral, you know. Uh, I don't get anything from it. I don't even know the guys there, but just write uh, my Marfit sent me there. Uh, will be cool if you do so. But yeah, just so you know, it took me like two weeks to get it. Um, and they're based in the States. So I guess if you're in the States, we'll be quicker. I'm in Canada. So it shouldn't be like really that long, but yeah. I will go with a short story. When I was seven years old, I told my mom that I didn't want to die. And I don't know why I realized that, that at some point I will die. This is a great question that I will never have the answer. But at that time, at seven years old, I was already thinking about death which is kind of weird, but at the same time, it's kind of like normal. Maybe I was just early thinking about that. And uh, basically I told my mom, mom, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And what she told me is like, it's something that you cannot avoid. It is something that you will have to live with and that we all go through it. And I was like, damn, this, this shit, you know, I, I, I don't know what will happen after, what will I what will I do? What will I be able like to think? Will I be able like to see people that I care of? You know, what what's the point of being here? You know, what's the point of like creating and creating and just doing a bunch of stuff and then everything is just gone and black. So I was thinking about that and 
I realized that it doesn't matter really. It doesn't matter like what what is nice, what is cool is the experience that we all have, the way that we can connect, the way that we can share, the way that we can be someone, you know, and be someone of value and just give an experience to other people around us. So from that day, I realized that that will be my biggest motivation, will be my biggest inspiration, will be something that I'm not looking forward to and I don't want to die still today and it's something that I feel that I don't accept really. I would like to be immortal. But at the same time, it's something that we cannot go against really right now. I mean, maybe with the technology and all that stuff, we'll be immortal at some point. I don't know if it will be in our time, in my time. But what I know is... I need to always work on myself and become the best version that I can, the best person that I can be, and to also help people to be positive, to help them achieve what they want in life, to be someone of value, someone that can bring something in the life of others. And because of that, if I'm able to create such a huge impact and create content that people can consume even when I'm gone, then I will be immortal. So the way that I see time is an inspiration. It's a motivation to always get up early in the morning, to always do something. Um, time for me is, for sure, we can talk about like time is relative, you know, it's it's different for everyone. It's different for a person in China than it is for a person in, in Canada. It is different if we start using the speed, you know, there's a bunch of stuff, you know. But when we sit down and when we, we all want to rush stuff, you know, we all want to achieve and achieve and achieve and go to the next thing. But sometimes we need to slow down to realize what we actually want in life. You know, what's our big goal? You know, what's our dream? What's, what do we want to achieve during our time here? And sometimes slowing down and just writing everything down will be helpful in the sense that we will not waste more time after, you know, we'll know exactly where we need to go and use our time wisely instead of like losing our time and not creating the impact that we want. Um, I don't know if ever, if that makes sense, but I'm just talking on top of my head. I have nothing written down, but I thought it would be like useful to explain how I see time and how I use that, you know, the, the final day, the final hour, the final minute or second I use it as motivation even though that I don't want to die. I use it as something that I need to use wisely and do what I want in life. And when I realized in 2011 that I really needed to put all the effort that I could to work on my craft and become the person that I wanted, then time became something that I really want to not waste. And I want to make sure I can create as much as I can. But at the same time, not sacrificing all the joy of life, you know, of being with friends. And for sure, there's a bunch of time that I regret because I didn't go out with my friend or I didn't enjoy a supper with my family or something like that. And this is something that I will have to live with. But when I'm with them, I need to really be in that time. And it's kind of like cliche, but I really need to be in the present moment and just be there for them and also for myself because that's how we live and it's so hard to live in the present and at the same time we all want to rush stuff so we are just like i don't want to waste my time and just go to a supper with my family or do something with my friends i, I need to work on my craft and it's true and we need to try to find that balance which is super hard we need to find that balance where we want to put all our effort toward our goals but at the same time we don't want to sacrifice the enjoyment of living in the present and being there and sharing an experience with someone, you know, a supper, a good food, a drink, or um, just going on a vacation, you know, and do something crazy. So it's all a balance. We never know when it will end. And the way I see my time is always be in, is always be in the present and always be in what I decide to do and follow my instinct. If I feel something is not right for me at that time, or if I feel that right now, I don't wanna work on my stuff, I just wanna go out or I just wanna see my mom or I just wanna do something and I will just do it because our instinct is so powerful and we 
never know when our time will end, but also the time of others, which is super, super hard to... Uh, I f and I feel that I'm, I'm kind of like depressive right now and I don't want you to be down with it. I just want you to use it as motivation because it is just so important to realize that we need to be the person that we want to be. And it's, I know you might listen to this and just say like, yeah, it's easy to do, it's easy to say, and it's not, and I don't say it is. We just have to work toward, toward what we want, you know. We, we have to be the best that we can today, right now, at this second, and just really take our time to become the person that we want to be, but also to have an impact to the people around us and everything we create. That's the way I think. It's just my time. I want to use it for something that I can create, but that can be used in five years, ten years, or even when I'm gone you know so that's why i like to create a bunch of stuff and take my time and try to think about the my next move and just always try to have the big picture and doing my morning journal doing my my weekly plan my monthly plan my three months goal my yearly plan is something that helped me to to maximize the time that i have right now and to put into perspective what I need to do next to maybe one day see the big picture that I have in my head. So I guess that will be it for today's episode. I hope this is something that you found powerful. This this is something that you can download on SoundCloud or iTunes. Uh, I think iTunes, you cannot download like the track itself, but if you go on SoundCloud, guys, you can just download this speech and just um, download it, do the cut that you want, keep the part that you found useful for you um it is just something totally different eight minutes already i just feel that maybe i've repeated myself but at the same time it's just so precious you know it is just so something that we need to focus on and realize because sometimes we are just caught up in the routine and we are doing something that we don't really want to do and we need to take ourselves back from that you know we need to see ourselves at the third person and just say to yourself like this is not something i want this is not something that i want to do then you can just live with passion with everything that you have you know all the energy that you have all the creativity that you have you can just put it into your work and just enjoy what you're doing and that's why i'm using my time like so much i mean i would i wake up between 5 or 7 a.m and i'm up and working on my craft and just enjoying what i do until 11 midnight every day monday through sunday i don't care it's just i just enjoy what i do and if i decide to take a break it is just because i know i will come back stronger to work on my passion and sometimes we just need it you know so uh, balancing your time is something really hard it's something that there's no magic formula or magic pill um, it's just something what, that we really have to do for ourselves and that we need to feel ourselves and use our instinct on how we use it because it is the most precious thing in the world. Money cannot buy time. Nothing can buy time. Just the way you use time is what is important because every second you're dying, you're getting older and older. And for sure it's depressing, but it is a motivation as well to create the best life that you can. So I don't know if you guys enjoy that, um, that type of video, it's quite different. But yeah, basically I will re read out to you what I wrote today. So it can give you an example if you're getting like the five-minute journal, what type of stuff you want to write. And what I realized over time is there's literally like three things that you can plan to do during a day. If you plan more stuff than that, you will probably not achieve it. So know your why is just three things is what our brain can assimilate and it's what we can achieve. And when I say three things, first I will do a bunch of stuff. You know, I will go to the gym, I will do emails, I will do... These are just like on autopilot, you know, it's just some stuff that I will always do every day. Um, like preparing my food and eating and all that stuff. But three things that if you do them, it will bring you closer to your goal, you know. Three things that will improve your business. Three things that will improve something and really like move your project forward and move yourself forward. I will read you what I wrote and uh, just let me know what you think. So today, uh, I always try to be grateful for a small thing. And when I say small thing can be just like, for example, like this table, I'm really grateful because I can be like riding on it and I can eat on it. Or yesterday was like my coffee. I was just drinking my coffee. I was just enjoying it. Um, grateful for the sun. Yesterday I was grateful for the sun because 
I mean, without sun, we will all die, you know, and you never, like, we don't control it. Um, so I was grateful for the sun, for some reason, whatever. So today, I'm grateful for uh, my camera and being able to share what I want. And because I was just like, seeing my camera, I was just like, damn, this is a pretty damn good camera. And I was just, I'm lucky to get it, you know. Uh, I'm lucky to be able to buy this camera because the first camera I got was shitty camera, I paid like $180 back then, and back then, like, it wasn't recording, like, in HD and all that stuff when I started. But this camera, you know, it's uh, $4,000 Canadian, plus the lens, plus the mics, like, 4000 something dollars, and then the tripod is, like, 170 bucks, you know, so I was just like, damn, and then you don't have the memory card again. So it's so expensive, you know, cameras, but I'm just grateful to be able, like, to buy uh, that type of camera and be able to share everything that I have in my head, you know with you guys, so that was the first thing. Second thing, being able to breed properly. There's people who don't have this luck, you know, they have difficulty to breed, so I was just grateful for that. Third thing was books and knowledge that I have access to. Um, so I don't want to be called as like, a, what's the name of the dude? Uh, whatever, like I have a bookshelf in my garage, whatever this guy. Um, it's just, it's so true. Like I was just seeing this book, I just bought this book when I was in, uh, LA. It's a new book from Tim Ferriss and I didn't start to read it actually. I just read like probably like 10 pages, but I'm always listening to books every day. And right now I'm listening to The Success Principle from Jack Canfield. It's actually a pretty good book. And last year, it's a bunch of information in this video, but last year I put myself a goal to uh, read at least a book every month, but I crushed that. I, I, I read probably um, 30 five and plus books and i never read that many books but actually i don't read it uh some are, i read it but i listen to them more uh, so i'm using audible and um yeah so but every day i listen to book and i learn new stuff or sometimes it's just not that i learn it's just i put my myself in the right mindset to to keep progressing there's a bunch of stuff that i already know but just having like a reminder through an audiobook or a podcast or even like a video help me to always move forward and just be focused on what I want and be concentrated on my goals and concentrated on uh, becoming a better version of myself. Third thing, uh, yeah, that was book and knowledge. And then what would make today great? Uh, edit two videos, learn more about sounds. I just want to better like sounds and post-production about sounds. So I gather like a couple of videos and courses that I will watch uh, later today just just to better my craft. <laughs> um, and third thing, I have an awesome and productive day with the team. So at the office, just kill it with the team and just be there and just move everything forward. And um, yeah. And then my daily, daily affirmation is, I am mindful about what I do and create. I give everything that I can to do it at its best uh, for the time being. So today I will just be the best version that I can and everything that I create, I will just do it as the best that I can today, you know, at that time. So that's pretty much what I do. Uh, took me probably five minutes, I guess. <laughs> um, and yeah, right now I'll just go upstairs, keep drinking my coffee, empty stomach right now. I usually can't make my breakfast, so when she will wake up, she will make my eggs and stuff, which I'm really grateful for as well. Um, and we'll leave for the office at 8, 8.30. The team is there at nine. I will grind, grind, grind until five, and then five, I will go to the gym and then I'll come back, come back here or to the office and keep working until like 10 or 11. Oh guys, you remember this morning? I was like super pumped because it was like 5 a.m., super productive and all that stuff. I'm leaving the office, it is 12.30 a.m. because I had a bug with my website so I needed to fix it and do some stuff because there's bots who were attacking me. So yeah, that's the thing with business. There's so much things that you will not expect to do and I was thinking to be home around 9 a.m. and just chill out with Kat tonight. But what happened is just my, there's just butts who were trying like, to hack my website. So I decided to stay and fix this. So what I did is just uh, uh, enable a Cloudflare account, point the domain, the name server to Cloudflare. And the migration is still going right now. So no idea what will happen, uh, but it should be fixed and Cloudflare should prevent any hack from happening to my website. So now going home, closing the lights, and that's it. Peace, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.